Welcome back to SDL TV Live. My first guest has been hard at work on an event that's sure to be lots of fun for the rest of us. I'm here with Paul Brennan from the Olivet On The Go Fall Festival. Thank you for working hard on our behalf. Yeah, thanks for having us. <laughs> for the rest of us. Um, so Olivet On The Go, Olivet is a great little community um, around 170 in Olive is where I think That's of you correct. guys. Yep, we consider ourselves uh, in the center of it all. The That's our logo. Yeah, and I also heard Olivet is like the highest point in the in the yes. metro area, is that right? That's correct, yep. Little known fact, mm -hmm. and who would know that I would know that? <laughs> <laughs> so Olivet on the go, so you guys, it's your big fall festival. It is, yep, this uh, the weekend of September 27th, 28th, 29th. Mm -hmm. So what is new in store for us this year? Well, it's a, it's a great family-friendly event. It's uh, yes. free to everybody. Um, the, uh, we've added a couple things. We have a first annual car show this year okay. uh, on Saturday from 12 to 3. Mm -hmm. And then on uh, Saturday we have a, our first uh, annual talent show as well from 4 to 6 on the first round. And then uh, Sunday we have it from uh, 4 to six, four to 5, excuse me. So on, the same, so is it like the second round on Sunday? Yeah, it's the finals on Sunday. Uh, we got a chance to look at all the uh, videos that got submitted actually yesterday and we have some really great performers. Really? So it should be very exciting. From all over the metropolitan area? Yep, not just Olivet, it's open to everybody. Okay. Um, and so we're really looking forward to that. We've got so some celebrity judges, I think they'll be announced on uh, uh, Monday, so I'm pretty excited about celebrity that Celebrity judges, mm -hmm. okay, cool. So who can be in the contest? Or we talked about anyone from the area, but did they already have to submit their videos? They did, they you had to be submitted by up. Friday, or maybe okay. by uh, this, the 15th of September. So they're all in, we got a chance to look at them, and, and the, the lineup is set, so. All right, great. Very, very exciting. That'll be fun. It will be, it should be a really good event, really you know, add to the uh, enjoyment for the, all the attendees. Yeah, we've got some good talent in this town. We do, we do. We have good, you know, talent from all over, not just Olivet. We have several yeah. events, you know, several people have submitted files. Yeah, we had our, our share of American Idol contestants exactly. coming out of St. Louis. Yep. So they're yep. going to start this year at Olivet. Yeah. yeah, we're pretty excited about that. Yeah. So now you guys have had this festival for, you were telling me, what, three years? This is, is our right? third year for Olivet on the Go. Mm -hmm. It's actually uh, transformed from a, a summer festival, which was in the, the middle of summer. And, and uh, so we moved it to uh, September to make it a little bit cooler for everybody, okay. uh, you know, temperature wise. Yeah. And, uh, and it's been, worked out pretty well so far. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds great. And so, Paul, now this is just a part-time volunteer job for you. It certainly is, yeah. <laughs> so how do you keep it going? Because it's got to be a ton of work. You it have is. a big committee? Yeah, we do. We have a, we have a seven-member committee, and then uh, certainly the city council helps us out when we need to. Um, and it's, you know, everybody kind of pulls their weight, and, and uh, we've assigned different tasks to each person. And uh, but it's, it's a lot of work, but it's very rewarding. The, the city of Olivet really is a great place to live. I've, been, I've lived there for uh, 12 years now, and okay. uh, it's nice to give back to the community. And yeah, it's probably a great way to meet your neighbors and, so. and yeah. that kind of thing. Yeah. So I just always have a lot of admiration for people that have time to do take on these kinds of events, a big festival like this. Yeah, it's, it's uh, rewarding in itself from just yeah. you know how much uh, you know the excitement. I mean, real. I think it's a great event. This you know not this week, but next and. Uh, um, and it's, you know, it's, it's been very fun to work on. It's a great group of people I'm working with. So. Yeah, so uh, the whole family can attend, is that right? Yep, yep, it's open to, open to everybody, open to the public. All, every, we hope people from all over St. Louis come. It's free, uh, most of the events are free. The only, the only you know, we have uh, some food vendors out there. Mm -hmm. Fallon's will be there, one of our local pubs. Uh, a couple other restaurants will be there. You know, obviously you pay for food there. And then uh, the, uh, we have a, a carnival that'll be out there. And uh, the carnival actually has a, we have a wristbands this year. We have. Uh, almost every day is covered with wristbands. It's twenty dollars for a four-hour block of all the rides you can ride. Okay. So uh, it's a great event. Uh, some of our, we got some feedback from some of the other residents in Olivet, and they said, "Hey, can we make this a better way to do the carnival?" So yeah, so, so wristbands, carnival rides, and that goes on all weekend, right? The rides. Yep, the rides are four o'clock on Friday. They start, and then they run every day. And if you go to OliveTOnTheGo.com, that's our website. Uh, everything's there: the, the map of the event, the schedule of the event. Um, there's a tab for the carnival. Wow, yeah, it sounds like sponsors. so much fun. Okay, so don't go away because I want to hear more. We're going to dive into some of these details in just a second. Okay. Paul and I will be right back with more details on Olivet On The Go, so stay tuned.